I'm Andy Pilgrim for Automobile Magazine. Welcome to a Pro Racer's Take. Today at NCM Motorsports Park, we have a Chevrolet Camaro SS1 LE. And you know, if it's a 1 LE, I'm taking it on track. So under the hood of this beast, we've got a 6.2 liter V8 LT1 motor, and it kicks out 455 horsepower and 455 pounds feet of torque. Brakes have been getting a lot of attention from manufacturers these days for good reason. About 20 years ago, 15 years ago, when you took a production sports car on track, the brakes were good for about one lap. 14 and a half inch rotors, 370 millimeter rotors up front, six piston calipers by Brembo, nice one LE logo on the caliper up front, and on the rear you've got a bit less than 13 and a half inch rotor with a four piston caliper. The brakes are certainly up to the task for track work. Curb weight for these vehicles is 36.85 pounds. Weight distribution is 52% front, 48% rear. Another point to show Chevy has sweated the details on weight distributions right here. You've got the charge area for the batteries right here, but the battery itself is in the back. Again, weight distribution. Batteries are heavy, put it in the back where you need a little bit of extra weight. Even though this is a 1LE track package, people obviously will use the car on track, it's mainly a street car. So I like to talk about practicality. The seat flips forward, it is a coupe, you only have the two doors. As far as the back, we do have a trunk. Because it's a nice coupe shape, you have, you have the nice long window in the back. The access to the trunk is a little bit compromised. It doesn't have a whole lot of entry, but it is a pretty sizable trunk once you get in there. And like a lot of cars these days, when they have a back seat, it also flips down. So you can, flip the back down and actually you if you sort of couldn't get your golf clubs in there you can probably slot them in here or something like that or bigger bags so there is some practicality to the one le as a daily driver if you like so the base priced on the camaro ss is around forty two thousand dollars this particular car has an as tested price fifty one thousand seven ninety about ten thousand dollar difference why 7,000 of that difference is for the SS 1LE track package. What do you get for that $7,000? Quite a lot, let's check it out. You get the nice matte black hood, you get 20 inch wheels all around, you get the Goodyear Eagle F1 Supercar 3 tires, you get upgraded front brakes, you get a nice splitter on the front. On the inside, you've got the Recaro seats, and you've got the suede covered gear lever knob, and you've got the triple piece spoiler on the back. On the back, that spoiler adds a little bit of downforce. On the front, you've got a tiny bit of lift. Overall downforce on the car, it's about a zero balance. You have no lift, no downforce, and that makes it very, very good as a sports car. Want to talk a little bit about the interior. We've got the Recaro seats. They've got the Recaro name on these. Um, they, they hold me in reasonably well on track, but uh, I would like a little more support. I did find myself rolling around, but they're definitely upgraded seats. Um, People have a bit of a love-hate relationship with the Camaro, and it's sort of the, the distance here of the aperture of the side window here and the lowness of the, of the windshield. I'm okay with it, but some people love it and some people find it a little bit claustrophobic. Steering wheel is a very important thing to me. Driving the car, it has to feel right uh, to me. This one feels good. It is a good shape and it's a good size. I like it. Not too much stuff on the wheel. I don't use that stuff anyway. It's just all distracting. One thing on this one, it looks like paddle shifters. It's actually the rev match, both sides, to switch it on or off because it is a stick shift vehicle. The rev match works very, very well. And it has a great six speed gearbox in this car. Shifting quickly was no problem at all. One nice feature on the Camaros that came when they did the redesign a few years ago was this bezel moves and it changes your temperature. So it's a beautiful day here at NCM. I think it's time to take the 1LE on track. All right, good run out of 23. Need to get as much speed as we can to start the lap. Here we go, 134 miles an hour breaking into one, excellent. 81 through the apex of turn one. Anytime I can get over 80 miles an hour in anything going into one is really moving. The Goodyear F1 Supercar 3 tire is holding on well. Good grip. The Camaro lets me use a lot of curb. The GM guys did a fantastic job with the suspension. The curbs don't upset the car hardly at all. You can get away with using a lot. Coming up to turn five. The number here is 100 miles an hour. 
anytime I can go through here, about 190, 98, 97, very, very good. Into turn six. Again, using some curb there, helps turn it. Holding the gear through here, the engine sounds fantastic. Turn eight. Now this is a straightaway. Coming out of eight, you really on it through nine. Can I get over 100? 104 ABS. Always test the ABS coming into 10. Just, just got to make this one tidy. Used as much curb as I could get away with. And here we go with deception. A lot of curb. Good speed on the exit there. 76. Good speed. All right, tabletop. Then through 15. Big, big speed through 15. I'm sure this thing's going to be close to 130. 131 miles an hour through 15. Heavy braking up the hill through 16. This corner's tough. 17 is a tough corner. Look at this. This engine sounds so good in this car. It really does. Always got to have a lot of patience. A lot of patience through 20. 21. Flip it back. 22. And now onto the straightaway. Right, and here is the moment of truth coming down the straightaway. 215.62, that's fantastic. Really good time, really good time for the 1 LE. I had a lot of fun driving the Camaro SS 1 LE around NCM Motorsports Park over the last day or two. It's been superb. It seems kind of appropriate. We're standing at the top of the sinkhole, which is the 1819 long, long right-hander. I have to say, as a practical everyday street car, which it is, and to be able to come here and run a 215 on track, all for around $50,000, this is probably the best value street and track-ready production car you can get today in the United States. Great job, Chevy.